While one of the buildings the tornado hit was the Andover YMCA. Friday night, windows were shattered, cars flipped over, and it came when many people were still inside the building. They explain why they feel lucky to be alive. Everybody was just storming the shelters. You said I was never going to see him again. A tough pill to swallow as tornado warning sirens went off Friday in Andover. So I called my wife and she said they saw uh, the rotation out here when they were heading out from my girls gymnastics practice. So she ran back in. The tornado hit the Andover YMCA. It sounded like a freight train and explosions like I don't know if it was from cars hitting the building or what staff members rushed to get everyone to safety. She was horrified that she said it it felt pretty sturdy that she said my daughter was just screaming the whole time and just asking for for me. As soon as the winds calmed Russell Green rushed to the Y to see his wife and daughter. She was heading out that way looking for the car. It was gone. It's right here, but um, there. yeah, it came about a good 50 yards or something, but she couldn't find it and I just yelled her name, went and hugged him, picked up my girl. At least a dozen cars damaged, some tossed and thrown into the gym. Walking out and it's night and day, you know, everything's just destroyed, cars destroyed, no insurance. A common thought, material things can be replaced. Don't care if we're down a, well, two cars now because we've got a flat getting over here over all the debris, but just glad they're okay. That's all that matters. Like I said to the staff, just thankful to be here.